the inspiring beauty of Victoria Falls. On the border between Zambia and Zimbabwe lies the waterfall. It is part of the Zambezi River and known in the Lozi language as Mosiwa Tunya or the smoke that thunders. However, most people seem to refer to it as Victoria Falls and a lot of people do talk about it. Being the largest waterfall in the world tends to get people's attention after all. Hello observers, welcome to yet another amazing video about the great African continent. Here at African Observers, we are aimed at changing the negative narratives about Africa and bring the world the positive and beauty of the great African continent. Make sure to subscribe, like and share this video with others. Together, let's change the negative narratives about Africa. The Inspiring Beauty of Victoria Falls Let's look at facts about the falls. Aside its breathtaking beauty, the Victoria Falls are also considered to be the largest waterfall in the world. This is based on the measurements of height, width and forming the largest sheet of falling water. The water that flows through the fall is from the Zambezi rivers. The falls are made up of five different waterfalls, including the Devil's Cataract, the Main Falls, the Horseshoe Falls, the Rainbow Falls, and the Eastern Cataract. When the peak flood waters occur in April, over 625 million liters of water go over the edges each minute. The indigenous name Mosi Autunia means the smoke that thunders. The spray from the falls can be seen from great distances, so it is a spectacular sight from many different directions. Due to its tropical location, the Victoria Falls also has wet and dry seasons. The driest time of the year to visit is considered to be June through January. The rainy season is February through May. There can be extensive amounts of rain and mist during the wet season that potential travelers might want to consider when making their plans. From the pages of the history books, people trekking to the fall are following in the footsteps of the famous historical figure Dr. David Livingstone. In 1855, he was transported by indigenous Makalolo tribe members to the edge of the fall during the course of his explorations. Dr. Livingstone was awed by the beauty of the area and gave it the name of his reigning monarch, Queen Victoria. A statue of Dr. Livingstone overlooks the devil's cataract, recognizing his commitment to the area. Now get into the falls. Before reaching the falls, the Zambezi River flows through a valley on the sheet of basalt. There were several tree-covered islands, which increase in number as you get closer to the cascade. There is a single vertical drop. However, the number of gorges means the number of drops is typically listed at two. When it's not flood season, the spray from the falls reaches a height of over 1300 feet and will display moonbows instead of rainbows during the full moon. It was first marked on a map by Nicholas de Fer in 1715, but the falls were used by natives as early as the Stone Age. Among these was the Tokalea tribe who named the falls Mosi Autunia. The name Victoria Falls came from Dr. David Livingstone, the first European to ever see the falls. He named them after Queen Victoria and wrote, no one can imagine the beauty of the view from anything witnessed in England, since so lovely must have been gazed upon by angels in their flight. Victoria Falls has been the site of many settlements and tourist attractions since its European discovery, which has mostly been welcomed by locals. Both Zimbabwe and Zambia offer day passes to cross the border to see the falls from both sides. But these vary in price and visa regulations change frequently. Interestingly, the falls are more popular among locals rather than international tourists due to the cheap bus and train tickets. Here is another hotspot we should look at, the Devil's Pool and the Boiling Pot. Sounds strange, right? Perhaps the most famous location on the falls is the Devil's Pool, also known as the Armchair. 
Located near Livingstone Island is a rock eddy that fills up to certain level between September and December. While at this level, swimmers can relatively enjoy a safe spot with minimal current, despite the edge of the waterfall being mere feet away. It's even described as the ultimate infinity pool on the Zambia Tourism website. Visitors are allowed to enjoy the pool, but only with the help of a guide. The cascade is just a few feet away. After all, that's a fall nobody wants to make. Much like the Devil's Pool is the Boiling Pot, a pool found in the Second Gorge. During low water, the surface is smooth. With high waters, however, comes gigantic swells and boiling turbulence, hence the name. It's not uncommon to find objects or creatures swirling or washed up on shore near the boiling pot. Unlike the Devil's Pool, the boiling pot is not a tourist attraction. But oh well, that doesn't stop thrill seekers, however, from attempting to visit this part of the falls. If you're inspired by Victoria Falls and want to plan a vacation, there are many tourism companies in Zimbabwe offering artist workshops that take small groups into the rainforest, where you'll be surrounded by the falls and immersed in inspiration. Thank me later. We are happy you made it to the end of this video. We'll love to know your thoughts about Victoria Falls in the comment section below. Share your experiences and thoughts with us and do not forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell so as to join the observers community.